Hello, I am Maria Diaz, cross-stitch designer for over 20 years, here again with some design hints and tips to help you make the most of your cross-stitch designer software. In this video, we'll show you how to shade simple shapes to create a 3D effect. Okay, let's get going. Right, so if we open the cross-stitch designer package, and as in previous videos, if we change it to a smaller chart, it makes it easier than a thousand stitches to work on. Okay, right, let's go in on that. Right here, I've already downloaded the previous palette. But if you will look at palettes while we're here, if we go upstairs to palette, and then if we go reset to default palette, and it will bring you all the colours down here. You can then go to palette and you can clear palette and it will take all the colours away. So if you want to program in your own colours, you clear the palette, double click on a colour and it will bring you up all the thread options that you can use. You go into stranded cotton. Now for shading, I tend to stick to the rule of three. So you have light, medium and dark. So if we start with a green, nice light green, double click and it will bring it up down here on our palette. We move the palette across and we go across here, pick on a medium green. I'm working within the same group of shades. If you refer to your shade card, you can pick whatever colours you like. But I think if you stick to groups, at least to begin with, it helps. And then just click on a nice dark one. Okay, then let's move across and let's put some other shades in. Let's go for a yellow, it's a nice yellow. And move across a bit of orange. And move across a bit more nice darker orange. Let's go down here. What other colours have we got? Okay, let's go for some blues here. These are nice. So if we click on that one. Whoops. Double click. Click again. Double click, again let's go for a really dark colour, we reckon that, no, that one, okay, close that. Now we've got three different shades here to work from. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle and a square and then show you how to colour them. So if we go up here, you can just fill it, draw it freehand or you can click on the tools here. So this ellipse. Okay, you can click there and you can draw a circle. Click there, but we have to be in closer to use the fill tool. It work now? Yep, yeah, there we go, and we can fill it in. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to do a bigger circle. Stick to a circle, I think. There we go. Go on here and fill it in, and then. I'm going to use what we have, a nice orange square. And do the same with the square. Go here, fill it in. There we go. Okay. So if you think of light, so the bottom of a box would be quite dark. I'm going to do the light shining here in this corner. So what should we do? Let's put a little, go to the outline tool, click on a black square, and put a little arrow on there to show where the light's coming, and I'm going to do the same on this one. So you can see what I'm working on, it's like going back to school art lessons. So the bottom of a box and the side away from the light would be dark, so we colour that in. You can also do this with patterns, so I tend to shade the flat shape and then add the pattern and then use the same rule of three to colour the pattern. And then here we go. You could just draw a line and make it really simple, but I find 
it looks more natural if you do it this way. So just colour it in. Bit of speckled colour. It's a flat box. There we go. And if I go out and see how it shades, it's probably easier to do on the circle. So we stick to the middle shade back here and colour. It's the same as you would do if you were painting a circle. They're just painting with thread. And then if we go there we go, now that should give you a shape. Another thing we could do with the flat square is if we wipe out our shading, which to be honest isn't brilliant today. Oh no, wrong colour, there we go. Now what we can do is we could draw a line down here. I'll see if we can create a corner. And this is what I do to create a 3D box effect. So then you take that off so it looks like that's the side of the box going away from you. That's a bit better. There we go, sorry, I'm supposed to keep talking to you. Okay, what do we think? Not too bad, I suppose. Okay, if we go up here, should we turn this into a proper... So if we do the same as we did there. Two up. Keep that. Then we go here. Two within. I would keep it simple to start with. Got to go in closer. So I've been working 20 years and the computer still has to tell me every time I forget something. Now if we go out now, it's pretty basic. But there we do, we have a box. So if we go up, let's see what we can show you so that it looks better. We go to tools and I center it. Functions, auto center. There we go, that makes life easier. And then if we go to chart and we go to see what it would look like stitched. It's quite rough, but at least it gives you the chance to play. So there's your basic tutorial on how to shade a shape. <laughs> um, good luck and um, have fun. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.